we go. Wait. Oh, that's a door stopper. I thought that was a clue. Sorry. Well, it well, uh, let's it could still be. Let's see. This is the first time we've been in one of the classrooms. Let's wait here for a while. If Hugo is cleaning the rooms, he should stop by any minute. What do we do till he comes here? Well, we can have a small look around. It's been a long time since I've been in a classroom like this. Hmm. Examine. I think we should examine. Mm, I think those that things right are just there. suspicious. Oh, okay. Darn! Who dropped a perfectly good candy bar on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Maya, that's a doorstop. Oh, okay. What does that do? <laughs> it's obvious. A door stop. Ugh, the door. I, I hope to God, Maya, you are not like the, the, the judge is. <clears throat> At least she's better than the judge. For now. I'm going to pretend I never heard her say that. <laughs> just, just, just yes, the lockers. The lockers. The lockers. Yes, the lockers. I have a Let us check about the lockers. lockers. <clears throat> a storage closet! It's really big! Excuse me, it's not a locker, it's a storage closet. I bet you and I can hide out in here, Nick! And why would we be doing that? Because it's fun! It's playing hide and seek! You know, if you ever want to go on a stakeout! Again! Why would we be doing that? Because I'm Sly Cooper! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, never mind. Hmm, I wonder what they keep in here. Considering it's in a school classroom, I'm guessing school supplies. Well, how about we find out? Come on, Maya, stop looting through other people's stuff. I'm just gonna open the door and look inside. Hmm, just a bag, huh? That's a suit of bag. I wonder why a kid would just leave it behind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, let's... No. No. You didn't let me finish. I know what you're going to say, and the answer is no. Come on, Nick. You have to admit, it's kind of strange. It could be valuable evidence. How so? It is... Is a teacher's storage closet, right? So, what's a kid's bag doing in it? That doesn't seem too strange. But when you look inside the closet full of work, fruit, books, and supplies, it does seem out of place. Alright, alright, we'll take it for now until we find the owner. Great! But you get to carry it. Oh. So have fun lu lugging that around. Uh, this is kind of heavy. Too bad, miss. I want to take everything, including the kitchen sink, as evidence. Look up with the clock tickling on the tock, tick, tock, tick, tick, tock, tock, tick, what? <clears throat> Do you hear that? It sounds like... Hugo? Oh. Laying on the rock, blasting off my sock, skip, skip, oh ho. What is he saying? Whatever you do, don't ask him. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Huh? Oh! You guys. Oh. Sounds pretty down. Uh, uh, hi, Hugo. Uh, hi. Oh, oh, poor Hugo. So, uh, how's work, Hugo? Uh, is there um anything we can do to help? How about I clean the chalkboard over there? Oh, we can pick up that trash? 
Uh, Maya, we better let him do his own work. It wouldn't be a good idea to help him like this. Remember, Mr. Diggett said he has to be more responsible. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Hugo. It's too lazy to want to help you out. Way to save face and turn me into the bad guy, Maya. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> uh, m Mr. Wright? Yes? H how did that trial go today? Did, did you lose because of me? Well, I knew it! I screwed up on you so badly, Mr. Diggett's got the guilty verdict! I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright! Ah! Wait, Hugo! We didn't lose today! What? We were able to counter Mr. Oates' testimony and get another day in court. See, Hugo? There's no need to worry! R really? S so Mr. Diggett's is safe until then? Uh, yeah. Woohoo! I knew you could do it, Mr. Wright! Whoa, sudden bipolar. No thanks to me, though, right? Aww. Well... Well, I guess not. Eh. I'm sorry. I should have talked to you guys before getting so excited. I just really wanted to help Mr. Diggins. Aww. Why does he want to help Mr. Diggins out so badly, anyway? For that matter, why does Hugo idolize him so much? You know, that's a good point. We... we need... this... this has got my curiosity up. We need to find out more about this guy. Let's do hey, it. Hey, Hugo, how about filling us in on something? Um, what's up? You've made it clear that you want to help Mr. Diggins. <clears throat> but... why? Why? Well, you mean you don't know? No, what? Jeez! I can't believe you guys! Everyone knows who Mr. Diggins is! Um, we never heard of him until yesterday, so how should we know? Hmm, I guess you wouldn't really know. Not a lot of people know the real Mr. Diggins. The real? Is he supposed to be famous or something? You bet! Mr. Diggins is the best musician ever! Ooh, he's musician? a musician! Yeah, he was the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be! I wanna be the very best I know I ever was. Okay, let's not start that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, he makes music. Uh, he kinda stopped over 20 years ago. What? Huh. Give so me he... that old. How old is he? That's... Well, let's see. Let's let's look at the court record. I'm kind of curious. How old is Mr. Diggett? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Years old. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Well, I well, suppose that, that works. He was around... Did he say twenty? He said twenty, right? He's a what? He's like how old he was when he gave up his art career, his artist or music career? Yeah. Twenty years. So 20, that's... 20, so yeah. he was 29 when he was recorded. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Sure. <laughs> oh, wait, no. He was 29 when he gave up. Yeah. Oh, stopped. okay. All right. Sorry. Go on. Let's find out about this guy. So Mr. Diggins was a music oh, artist? Wow. Oh, wow. someone next to you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry, it's my home sucker tone. That's okay. Yeah, he used to play all kinds of music. Not a singer, but he always played a smooth, jazzy beat. And don't get me started on his saxophone skills. They'd make you melt. <gasps> that wow. sounds like Strider. I had no idea. Mr. Diggins was one of the best. No one else can play like he can. Wow. I did. Wow. Not wow, it's whoa. Whoa, that's neat. I want to be the very best. I know whatever was. I just got done saying. We just got done establishing the fact he wasn't a singer. He was just. He just I know. It. I'm. Kidding. <laughs> I like singing that though. It's cute. Um. Wait a minute. If Mr. Diggins is so great, then why is he a custodian? Oh. Oh. Here you go. That's. I shouldn't really talk about that. 
Mr. Diggins told me, and he told me to never repeat it to anyone. What would happen to make Mr. Diggins turn to a life of cleaning? Well, I have something I can share with you, if you want. Here! It's a magazine on Mr. Diggins. Hmm. Oh my god! Mr. Diggins. Oh, that's me! Yes. Oh my god! Wow! This is from a long time ago, isn't it? Yeah! It's when Mr. Diggins was really young! It's one of my most prized possessions! Look at those styling clothes! Yeesh, these are clothes my grandpa would have worn. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this magazine wrinkled oh, and grandpa. dirty? Shouldn't you take care of this stuff if it's precious, Hugo? Huh? Oh, that's right! One of those punk kids looted through my stuff today and took my magazine! They took it? Yeah! Right, kids! I left it on my mom cart while I was cleaning B-Building. I found it in one of the classrooms a little while ago before I came to D-Building. You can keep it if you want. I have a copy of that magazine at home. Well, uh, thanks, I guess. Oh. I think I know who this is. That's your cue, <laughs> teacher. Ahem. <laughs> Who's that? Oh! Miss Strictly! Mm. Hi, uh, doing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like, would you like to clean the floors in my house, Yugi baby? Yeah, uh, something like that uh, with me. I, 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 uh, uh, oh, look at the time. I'm gonna go uh, clean the toilet. Bye, Mr. Wright. Oh, there goes another one. Would then a boy in blue came walking into my life? <laughs> I want to go and clean some toilets myself. Mm, that's the <sighs> oh boy. Alright, let's get this over with then. School today. Um, how are you today, Miss Strictly? I'm fine. School ended just an hour ago. Were you busy all day? Not too. The police kept the building closed with all the stuff allowed in. I guess they wanted to keep the crime scene untouched. They didn't want any students to touch anything, so security was very tight. So, no kids came here at all today? Not a single one. Hmm. I'm sure the school heard about what happened today in court. Hmm? No, we didn't. What happened? You mean you don't know? I asked the police, but they gave me the silent treatment. Oh! But they look so cute in the blue uniforms, so handsome, those tiny mini skirts! I think they ran off as soon as she went to desperate for a date mode. <laughs> <clears throat> well, no alchemist. Well, I told Miss Strictly what happened at today's trial. I don't believe it. Everyone was shocked! Even the prosecution! Mr. Owens... How could he? We talked to him for a bit at the detention center. It seems he had his reasons for doing what he did. I can't imagine. There's also more. He said you were in charge of an after-school program that Lyle was attending. <laughs> Can you please tell us about it? <laughs> we were told that Lyle was allowed into the newspaper club. But with his grades, it seemed impossible for him. That is true. Lyle wasn't the smartest student in school. Then why was he allowed into the club? You are in charge, so why did you let him in? It was more Mr. Oates wanting to let him in. He wanted to help Lyle any way he could. 
for the benefit of the school, right? Y yes. But then there's the grade issue. How was he be able to get in the club if he had poor grades? There wasn't an issue there. Lyle managed to get his grades up to join. But how? I mean, a kid like him getting good grades? And with a bad attitude to boot? I wouldn't think you'd want him in the club. <laughs> Was there another reason on how he managed to get into the newspaper club? <laughs> oh! Again! Damn it! Darn it! I believe I gave you a legitimate reason, Mr. Wright. Then why did a Cyclops show up in front of your reasons? Oh, shit. Looks like there's a buried secret behind Lao getting into the newspaper club. Now I need to find more clues behind why there is. I think right now, uh, we can't really do much. So yeah, for I think now, we should head back. Yeah, we better, we better keep looking around and come back later. Yeah. So, back to D2. And to front of TLH. <clears throat> Ooh! New stuff! Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I'll wait for you. Still wish you would wait till I found it. There's a student over there, talking on a cell phone. Alright, Mom. See you in a few hours. Guess I have to wait by the stupid painting. Hello, how are you? Yeah! Uh, d don't scare me like that. Oh, sorry, I thought I'd give you a nice friendly hello. That friendly hello almost gave the kid a heart attack. <laughs> no problem at all. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Thor Bentley. Oh, Bentley. My name is Thor Bentley. Nice to meet you. <coughs> nice to meet you too. I'm Maya Bay, and this is Nick. Uh, hi. Do you go to school here? Well, um, yes I do. Hey Nick, let's ask him some questions. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get a student's perspective on what's ha what's been happening. If he doesn't mind, then I guess it should be okay. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have, sir. That's funny. For a school with a bunch of harsh kids, why is this one so friendly? Hmm. hmm. Well, let's have a talk. Hmm. Yeah. So, you go to school here, Stuart? Yes, sir. And I'm proud that I'm able to attend Thomas Light High. Really? Even with all the negativity surrounding this place? Well, yes, there are some ruffians that come here too. I try not to associate with the others. Well, it's good to see you're not one of them. <laughs> I've had a pretty strict upbringing. I've always learned to behave and not let all the sway me into anything bad. And with that, I say I have my marks to prove it. Or the marks to prove it. Is that a test grade? 100% wow! <laughs> it's for my mathematics class. I've managed to earn a reputation as being one of the smartest students in class. I've already achieved the highest marks for the school year. That's certainly something to be proud of. Yes, and I aim to go further. Say this. A college brochure? I'm planning on attending this one after I'm done with high school. No assists, huh? Wow. Noah Seuss High. Wow. <laughs> Actually, it's pronounced no excuse. Oh, Get the pun? no excuse. No excuse. 
Very funny, Silent Bob. Very funny. Yeah, I, I know. Very, that's creative there, right? <laughs> no excuse university. Sounds fun. <laughs> it's anything but. They're pretty wary until joins the school. Pretty much no excuse. If they find out that one kid has done something wrong in his or her permanent record, that student will go under a severe background check and may not be able to attend. That's kind of harsh. Well, it's always best to weed out troublemakers this way. I've heard there are some kids who haven't done anything wrong and still couldn't join. Wow, that's over harsh! Overkill, but yeah, that's kind of rough still. Eh, we gotta restore our court record. <clears throat> now then, let's the find murder. out about the murder. Stuart, do you know anything about what's been happening for the past few days? You mean the murder? Yeah. Uh, well, I know that Lyle Snitch was killed. Not really someone I care to talk about. I can imagine that. He was a bad kid after all. You heard about him? Well, we're trying to find out about the victim as much as possible. I'm a lawyer on this case. I'm representing the defendant. Oh, really? The only thing I can say is that he was always looking out for himself. It didn't matter who was in his way. He didn't do anything to get what he wanted. Gee, the more I hear about the victim, it's hard to feel sorry he died. I think this kid knows more than he's letting on. Ooh. But I don't want to have to force him to say anything if he doesn't want to. I think that's enough questioning. We've asked what we needed to. Hey, Stuart, you said you were looking for something before? Huh? Oh, yeah! I was talking to me mom. I left the bag in one of the classrooms in the building. But I can't get in because of all the police. A bag? You mean... This one? Hmm? Ugh! The, hey! The, that's my bag! My calculator, ruler, student ID, it's all here! So this is yours? Yeah! I forgot it a few days ago. Wait, hold on. Yeah! I forgot it a few days ago! Oh man, you're a lifesaver! Can I have it back? Sure, it's yours anyway. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I guess we can chalk that up as the good deed for today. Yeah, we're that much closer to being saints. Um... Yes? How did you think you'll do tomorrow in cult, I mean? Hard to say. It all depends on what I find out about the victim today. Yeah! The more we find out, the better the chance we'll find the real killer! Hmm... Well, good luck then. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I hope you'll manage to pull it off. <laughs> Looks like he'll be standing by the front entrance for a while.